Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a bit of a breakdown of my Skillshare and let you know how much I earned after being on Skillshare and teaching classes for about three years. So my name is Jake, I'm a designer and I use a lot of 3D programs within my work and I've learned them through university. And I decided to teach them kind of at the start of the lockdown period um, that we went through. So I decided to kind of teach my skills and then I found Skillshare and saw people were making a bit of extra cash teaching on Skillshare, so I thought I'd give it a go. So these are the videos that I produced. Um, I've got about, oh, I think it's about 11, 10, 11 videos. And basically on those videos, I teach people how to, you know, create things in 3D. So if you wanna learn how to 3D model, I'll show you how to do that. And a lot of the time it's using software that's free. So SketchUp actually has a, a web browser um, version. So you can actually model if you, you, know, you don't wanna pay for the software, you can do it on your computer. So my most popular lesson was how to design your dream garden, uh, 3D modeling and garden design. It's this one here. I'll click on it and give it a little, you know, give you a little taste of what I was doing initially. My videos did definitely get better um, the more I created. So there we go, we've got a bit of, I don't know where the volume is, no volume. We start building the house, we're not gonna get any problems with it. You know, very, very simple videos, um, you know, kind of like this, just giving instructional videos on how to create, you know, so stuff that you didn't have. Bit more planting. This is kind of the end result here. We got to like a really cool garden and I took you through all those steps to do that. And that included, you know, drawing out your garden, um, you know, taking photos of anything you have uh, within your garden. Um, but yeah, so that's my most popular class and it's got um you know people submit their work as well which is really cool it's got some good reviews i've um, got 14 reviews on it and you know most people are happy with it happy with the class um, but this is back in 2020 when i created this one amongst all these um i can show you my profile on skillshare so this is my profile of designer jake and this is where i've kind of highlighted some of my you know more useful videos i think so you know beginners sketch up guides um things like that how to create home office for free so this was one that was based in your browser so i still recommend this th th these lessons although you know this is made in 2021 they still apply and um you know i, th I think they're really good simple lessons for you to follow uh here's some more of my work yeah, so that's kind of a little rundown. Um, I've got 450 followers and I'm following four people. I'm not sure who those four people are. Uh, let's see the achievements. Don't have any achievements, whatever that means. So I'm gonna show you the stats now and you can see how much I earned for kind of, well, the three years that I've been on here. And um, you know, let's get into it. So I'm gonna take you back to the start of my Skillshare journey. Um, so this was back in June, 2020 and you can see Basically, Skillshare pays you on how many minutes watched you get. So within the month, you'll get paid a certain amount based on the minutes. Now they used to do it where, basically they, they used to have a system where you got paid a lot more, but now it may not be worth it. That's kind of what I've concluded after working on Skillshare. Um, they've changed their payment system, which means the pool of money that teachers receive is way less. So. It's still good to do, but it's not as good as it was, you know, about two two years ago um, when it was very, very profitable. So you can see initially I made $57 um, and that slowly, slowly went up to January 2021 where I made $130. I got a $10 referral here. These are referrals. Um, and then this is adjustments. I don't know what adjustments are. Never had any adjustments. Um, February 127. And then you can see it slowly starts to creep up. Uh, August, sorry, September in 2021, I had a good month of $234, which is really good. And then it just kept rising and kept rising really gradually. Um, so my best month here was $352 uh, in January, 2022. So obviously the start of the year is when people are looking to learn a bit more. So they're gonna jump onto these teaching platforms and you know try and learn how to do new skills, find out new skills, earn some more money, all that kind of jazz. So yeah, this is kind of where it began to peak um, around May 2022, between yeah between January and May, and then it kind of started to trickle off. I hadn't really been producing any any new videos around this time. I kind of just was like promoting the existing ones on on this YouTube channel, um, and then yeah, just didn't really 
I felt like I had created everything I wanted to create. I created like the beginner's guide, the intermediate guide, and how to render. I didn't think I had anything else to say um, on the topic of 3D modeling at that point. So I kind of felt like anything I was would be producing would just be uh, basically a repeat of what I'd already done. That's kind of where, and I, you know, I was kind of happy with that. I was like, you know, ecstatic to be making, you know, $320 a month passively and obviously that wasn't for that long you know there's this kind of five month period where I was making quite you know quite a nice amount of money um, but and that was completely passive like once the video had uploaded I didn't really do much and you know I received this into my PayPal every month now that really helps when you're a freelancer and you know you know, might be between clients or struggling a bit for work sometimes a little boost of money like this can really keep you going and like help pay rent you know because rent's so expensive everything's so expensive right now um, but this is something that you know it's nice it's a nice treat at the end of the month you get a bit of money um, from something that you worked on you know uh, two years ago so and then basically what happened is around I guess it was probably around the start of the year, Skillshare had a massive change in their payment system. It used to be, basically it used to be a larger pot of money that was distributed evenly uh, to all the creators based on how many minutes you, you watched. But then there's something happened to that pool of money where they basically dropped it in pretty much half. So when you're earning, you know, maybe $200, that would go down to maybe 100 or less. Um, so you can kind of see that fall off here. It's gone from, you know, a reasonable amount, you know, to kind of something more like $80, $100. I mean, that's still good actually in March, but it's just not, you know, and bearing in mind, I'm still getting the same views as I was, you know, when I was hitting about, you know, $300 mark. I'm still getting the same views as them, but now basically my money has been thirded, I guess you could say. So yeah, we can see this year, um, what have we done? So 81, 78, 198, 76, 100, 113, 90, 52. Um, got a little referral there. Also the referral thing changed. So now you only get paid on when people sign up for your links. It used to be that people could use a free trial and then you'd get, I think it was like $10 per free trial user. So that's kind of gone out the window now. Um, but, you know, so we can see the total earnings is $6,000. Um, the skill share fund, so that's, so that's basically how much I've earned from my views. And then this is my referrals. And we can see the months, you know, it's not outstanding. My, it used to be better when I was putting up newer videos, but um, I've kind of not really had the time for it anymore. I'm not really sure it's worth the investment, to be honest. Um, but I could be wrong. Things could change and I could be back on Skillshare creating new lessons. Here are the minutes watched. So you can see the minutes fluctuate per month. We're still in November, so that's not finished yet. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's how much I've earned. $6,000. It sounds quite good, but that is over three years. So it's about you know $2,000 a year. Um, so nothing too crazy. You've got 74 reviews, 100,000 minutes watched, and 3,192 students. Now, as for teaching on Skillshare, if you've got something that you know people want to learn, if you've got a skill that you know within yourself that you've been either learning at university or through your work that you feel like you could share quite easily, I think Skillshare is a, still a really good option to teach. Um, I wouldn't expect to make loads of money but you know if you want to make um, a couple of hundred dollars a month um, extra and you can put out you know quite a bit of work to create these classes the classes aren't easy to create you need to have a you know a solid structure of what the outcome would be for the class so you can't just have a, a random class it has to have an end goal essentially so if you're doing photography you want to show people how to create a certain style of photo or something like that it has to have an end goal so it is quite a lot of work to create these videos but i think i think it is still worth it in 2023 coming into 2024 um perhaps the payment system will change and creators will you know start getting paid a bit more but um i haven't heard anything um, but i still you know i still enjoy obviously making a bit of money on skillshare but it is not my priority at the moment i think for me it's etsy and this YouTube channel, I've decided that actually I'm gonna I'm gonna really try and grow this YouTube channel and see what it can earn, you know, and see what it's you know capable of. Um, and I'll 
I'm definitely going to be sharing that journey on this channel of how I start monetizing YouTube and, you know, start earning some more money through these streams. Um, so that's it really, that's kind of an honest breakdown of what I earned on Skillshare for the past three years. Um, if you like the video or want to learn more about 3D modeling or Etsy, I'm doing a lot of videos on that at the moment. Um, we're looking at passive income streams and how to earn a bit more money to help you out there in the world, which is very expensive. Um, but that's what I'm working on now. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for any updates on my videos. Um, drop a comment if you've got any questions about Skillshare or teaching on Skillshare, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, I've got quite a bit of experience on there. I think that's it guys. Uh, so I hope you have a good day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.